Okay, we're gonna do a little video here about insecticide out here in the country. Uh, I live out in the country, of course, uh, and uh, had a little issue with uh, wasps and bees and yellow jackets and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you what my remedy is for taking care of those types of insects. Any kind of insects really it'll work for, but it's really good for those kind of insects because they like to try to attack you. Anyway, um, the first thing I use <clears throat> is my trusty one and a half gallon pump sprayer that I can, uh, and I use this one, I have a larger one, but I like to use this one for that because it's light maneuverable. I can I can spray with it and if I need to run, I can run and don't have to worry about being able to carry that because <clears throat> it's small. Anyway, so that, the next thing I use is Bengal insecticide. And this is a Bengal concentrate. It is a very good potent insecticide. Uh, you can get it at your local, uh, I got mine at Tractor Supply. <clears throat> the next thing I put in this mixture is Dawn. And I put, this is the uh, Dawn Platinum, it's just strong. <clears throat> and there's a specific reason for that and I'll tell you about it. Anyway, so what I do is, <clears throat> I mix in that, in that one and a half gallon sprayer, I put, um, one quarter of this bottle and I put about the same amount of Dawn and then in my sprayer after I put those two in the sprayer I put one gallon of water <clears throat> and the reason I do that is it makes the insecticide pretty strong the uh the insecticide is it kills on contact pretty much i mean it's you can you see you get it on a wasp but just a few seconds he's done uh, but the dawn uh something in the dawn keeps wasps and bees and and things such as that it keeps them from being able to fly uh so you uh you put the uh dawn and the insecticide in the sprayer and shake it up real good and mix it with your gallon of water and then you start spraying it and, and the reason i do it <clears throat> on the eaves of the house here i don't know if you're going to be able to see this with this phone but up here i mean there's a good two inch uh, size wasp nest and they're, they're all the way around this eave and i mean all the way around and uh i the the biggest one i've had uh that i that i killed this time was about it was a wasp nest of about um and i don't know if you can see how uh, it, it was about the size a little bit bigger uh, about the size of a, a quart coffee can around um and i would estimate probably 200 wasps uh were, were sitting around it on it on the nest and uh and when i after i sprayed them i had a I mean, like a pile, the, 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 the ground turned red and, and yellow. There were so many of them that it, it kind of changed the, the ground color right there where they were. <clears throat> but the biggest issue I have had today is um, I noticed on the side of my chimney, I was cutting the grass a couple of days ago, and uh, on the side of my chimney, I came through with my mower. I was on my riding mower, came through and cut, and... Uh, I got <clears throat> tagged on the neck, <clears throat> and at first, you know, it wasn't that big deal, but in, in a little while, it, it was really bad, and uh, so uh, I didn't know if I got bit by an ant or a couple of ants, or, but then uh, later I came back and just kind of standing on my carport, which is right next to my chimney here, and uh, there's a little hole on the side of my chimney, and uh, I see these... Uh, yellow jackets just a swarm of yellow jackets going in and out of that little hole so i said oh okay so i've got me a pretty good sized nest of yellow jackets in this little hole inside my wall so then i took my concentrate and uh and mixed my concentrate 
and we have went to town. <clears throat> and what I did was I kind of put my sprayer on kind of a kind of a stream to where it would uh, kind of cause a pretty good water stream and uh, begin spraying like kind of close I was up close and started spraying where it would where the water would kind of go in and drip down inside the nest and uh, as I started doing this the uh, yellow jackets would come to the to the hole to come out and as they would get to the hole to come out I, they would just get soaked in the, in my mixture and uh, as they did it it just they just kept piling up kept piling up kept piling up and I just kept spraying kept spraying kept spraying so <clears throat> by by five minutes into it I say five minutes I'm probably more more about 30 seconds into it <clears throat> about 30 seconds into it I had on the shoulder of my chimney here I had a pretty good sized pile of, of these yellow jackets just uh, kind of piled up and uh, wondering hey wait a minute what's wrong what's going on and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get some decent video of it but <clears throat> I see every once in a while I see uh, yellow jackets coming back to this nest that, that I guess they were out maybe like soldiers and whatnot that was out uh, while I while I was spraying, while I started spraying, so uh, I go back every every little once in a while and hose it down again. Even if I have to rip a section of the wall out later and make sure that they're gone, that's fine. That's all fine and good. I want to make sure all the yellow jackets are gone because uh, with the amount of yellow jackets that was coming out of this hole, um, there's got to be thousands of them in there and uh there has to be thousands and uh you know if somebody was to get attacked by them or a kid or something like that i, I they would the kid would have no chance against a yellow jacket nest like that um and I, as i come over on the ground i can see on the ground next to where it's uh where where the water and the is uh coming down the side of the chimney there's a big pile of yellow jackets and i don't know if you'll be able to see this there's a big pile of yellow jackets on the sh shoulder of my chimney here and a big pile of yellow jackets hanging out of the nest and uh so uh <clears throat> i'm uh they're just they're just it's it's killing them the dawn and the mixture gets on the wings of wasp, yellow jackets, whatever kind of flying insects like that. The dawn is to it gets on them, and and uh, and uh, and they can't fly. So it doesn't. Uh, I got another wasp nest right here, red wasp. Oh, there they go. Uh, uh, the dawn gets on their wings though. It soaks their wings down. And makes it where the, the bees, yellow jackets, wasps, whatever they are, uh, it makes it where they can't fly. And uh, so then they just, uh, they just, uh, once you coat them and they get the dawn on them, they can't come attack you. They're, they're done. They just, uh, they just fall. They, they can't, then they, their, their weapons are, are defeated at that point. So, uh, and I just, I just keep waiting for them. As more come back to the hive, I catch them right at the front of the hive and just, I'm gonna kill them all off. And, uh, but it's this mixture, I, I've never had a problem with this mixture. It's, uh, it's a really good mixture as far as I'm concerned. It, uh, it's, uh, very potent. I mean, like, I, there's there's yellow jackets all over, just dead and dying. Uh, and it only takes a few seconds, like I said. It just takes just a few seconds. And they, they just kill over, so I don't want to uh, take a chance on anybody getting stung even any more than that, that. Those two stings that I received was enough, so...
we're gonna uh, we're gonna take care of them after that. I, I, I hate those type of insects, stinging insects. I, I literally hate them with a passion. So, <clears throat> and I have them just. They're just every time one comes back from uh, out on his patrol or whatever they're doing. He comes back to the nest, and as soon as he gets there and gets that mixture on him, he's done. They just, they just kill over. And uh, I, there's, there's uh, probably a good 50 laying on the shoulder of that chimney. Most of them have fallen off down on the ground here. Uh, this chimney, the way this chimney is shaped. You can see but they're coming out of right on the side of this chimney and they're coming they're falling onto the shoulder of this chimney and then falling down on the ground here uh, and then I'll, I'll uh, once I get them all killed and and done with I'll uh, either take a shop vac or something or <clears throat> something and get them out of there so I don't have to be worried about them getting anybody or or uh, taking any chances of anybody actually accidentally getting strung by stepping on something or whatever <clears throat> but I'm gonna make sure over the next couple of days that I've killed all of them and uh, <clears throat> that's one thing I don't like to take a chance I don't take a chance with any of those so anyway that was just an idea of a way that I take care of uh, wasps and yellow jackets uh, even uh, if you have bees that you don't, you know, I know some people like to keep bees and beehives and that kind of thing, but if you, uh, if you don't have the good kind and uh, to pollinate your flowers and your garden or whatever, uh, then you probably don't want them around. So um, that's just an idea. If anybody uh, wants to try that or if you're, you're thinking of a way to try to get rid of your uh, stinging insects kind of thing then uh, maybe you can try that and that'll help you out so uh, hope you enjoyed this video have a great day